Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some nachos, real almond chips. I have the classic sea salt. We got guacamole, guacamole, <laughs> and we have barbecue. These were $3.49 each at Kroger. It and does I'm, look like guacamole, I mean like guacamole. I'm thinking we found these in towards like the produce. They were, yeah. yeah. over in that area. So these aren't gonna be down the potato chip aisle because they're real almond chips. 33% lower carbs than tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Four grams of plant protein cooked with 100% almond oil. It says a chip off the old nut. You know what we love? Smarter snack choices with great taste and a satisfying crunch. You know what we don't love? Gluten, processed grain, chemical preservatives. That's why we invented the greatest snack chip of all time. The natural goodness of almonds with the snackability of a chip. Perfect for gluten-free, keto-friendly snacking, dipping, or entertaining. Munch away and smile. Uh, this is, they're out of Born, Texas. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's B-O-E-R-N-E. Born, Texas. I've never heard of it. Nature's Eats, Inc. Um, it says, uh, okay, four grams of plant protein, zero grams trans fat, vegan, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, non-GMO, dairy-free. Three servings in the container, one ounce, 28 grams, about 10 chips is 130 calories. And this was just the salt. Yeah, this is a classic sea salt. In the ingredients list, I just glanced at the ingredients list. It's pretty um, Nuts. low. Uh, there's hardly, it says the ingredients are almond flour, tapioca flour, almond oil, and sea salt. Four ingredients in here. Oh. You know what that reminds me of? A softer wheat thin. You know that wheat thin kind of texture? Very soft. It's always crumbly. I mean, I mean it's like it's almost like how in the world they get to stick together. I really, <laughs> I like the, the texture. I like the flavor too though. The texture's, ooh. I got one, the first one I tasted did not have a lot of salt. I just got one out of the bag and it had a lot more salt mm -hmm. on it. I love the salt. Some people would think this tastes a little bit like wet paper, like the texture. Mm hmm. You know, like you chew up a piece of paper, kind of. Right. <laughs> I don't mind it, and I hate that texture. Carbs. It says keto friendly, but it says total carbs were 15 grams. Isn't yeah, but then you have to you have to calculate people? it in with all the the fiber and all that. You have to calculate it out. This is uh, much softer than a tortilla chip. Tammy has a picture at the end, so if you do want to calculate it out, you can. You yeah, can pa get ready to pause the video at the end, and you can see all the ingredients, nutritional information, all that. Yeah, calculate it out yourself. This is softer than a tortilla chip, much oh, yeah. softer, and it tastes like ground almonds. Mm -hmm. If you like almond butter, you will love that. Yeah, it doesn't have that cherry flavor, but it does, it does has an almond It's flavor. almond butter with salt, mm -hmm. and good. I oh, okay. like it a lot. Yep. The only thing is, is I would eat the whole bag. Oh yeah, you need the whole bag. And it's 130 <laughs> calories for three servings. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you're talking about what, 390 calories for that whole bag, but I could totally eat that in one mm -hmm. go. Oh, yeah. So now we're gonna try the guacamole. Um, this is, um, I'm probably gonna need the exact same thing. 130 calories for about 10 chips. And um, I will say, Kevin and I don't eat guacamole. No. We really don't. Most of the time I've had, I just didn't like it. The ingredients, there's more ingredients in this. Almond flour, tapioca flour, almond oil, seasoning, which includes garlic and onion powders, uh, salt, spices, tomato powder, sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, yeast extract, vinegar powder, just, uh, white distilled vinegar, lactic acid. Um, it, so, that's what's in it. It's not bad. It has that same flavor that all guacamole has. It's kind of earthy. It has an earthy kind of flavor. Whatever spice they're using in there kind of brings it down, makes it earthy. Well, then why, bad, do, why do I like this? And I normally don't like guacamole. Um, I think they put lime in guacamole. I think, I don't know. I don't eat guacamole. I think there's lime in there and sometimes we've had it that's really strong. Lime. These are seriously delicious. They're good. I mean, they're I, a little earthy, but they're good. Oh, I love them. I think I, they put, 
They've got a so nice many, spice in there. Yes, they're like so. Like if you can't have spicy food, I, you could still have this because it's not like burn, it's not burn. like it's gonna burn you, but it lets you know that there's some heat there. I think these are delicious. I mm. would buy a huge bag of these. I have almost a peppery kind of, almost jalapeno kind of flavor. Yes, yeah, I'm impressed with these. See, I don't like avocados. And isn't guacamole normally, it's but it doesn't guacamole. list anything about, well, yeah. about an avocado. That is so good. Mm. I never expected to like these when I bought them. I was just going to try them for you all. Uh, Cause I thought, you know, th most people do like guacamole. I love those. I would, those, those are awesome. Hey, we just never had any really good guacamole. That could be it too. Uh, these are. Because we, we tried a few and we just don't like it, so we never tried it. Barbecue, same calories. If all guacamole tasted like that, then I would be eating it. Because that is so. I love the spices. The okay. spices are nice. Barbecue. Mm -hmm. So there's different kinds of barbecue. You have spicy, you have sweet, you have smoky. This one is smoky and sweet. Yeah, a little sweet. Yeah, it's not spicy. It's not, there's mm. no heat. That one I don't, I don't dislike it, but it's not my favorite. Oh, it's not my favorite. The guacamole is my favorite. Yeah, I mean, I even like the salted ones better than those. Um, I do like these. I wish that the barbecue, I wish that it did have some heat to it. I wish or that just it, spices. Yeah, I wish there was more spices to it. I didn't tell you what was in this one. I mean, it definitely has spices. You can taste them. but Yeah, but it doesn't have as many spices as the guacamole. And it doesn't taste like barbecue spices. It just tastes like seasoning. Yes, it's it's just not, uh, it's not a strong enough flavor. It's not, they're not bad. I no, think they're, they're nice. And if you're one of these people that you don't want a strong barbecue flavor, I think you'll be very, very pleased with these mm -hmm. because they won't bother you. Um, but it, my favorite is that guacamole. Guacamole is really good. Um, and if I had to pick salt. one, I'd pick the guacamole and then the sea salt one. And the barbecue. That's interesting that you picked the guacamole too. Well, I like the seasoning. It is earthy though. It, it is kind of an earthy flavor, but I think it's just the spices. It's it's good. Yeah. Um, they say you could dip these. You would have a hard time dipping these unless it's something very, very, very soft like sour cream. Because if so you've soft. got a thick dip, it's going to break. Yeah. You're gonna, it's going to break You'd have to really spoon it on it. You want yeah. to use a thicker dip. Um, and you know what? Honestly, I would not want to cover up the flavor of that guacamole. No, only the dip. salt one would. The salt one, but but it's good plain. You could sit on the couch yes. and eat those just like you eat potato chips. I, I really enjoy these. Mm -hmm. um, I have not seen them at Walmart, mm -hmm. but uh, that doesn't mean that you won't be able to find them, you know, in your Walmart. I, well, I just haven't seen them yet. So if you have seen this brand or if you've tried this brand, let people know in the comments below. Be helpful. And thanks for watching.